No doubt you are excited to have opened up that new Xbox, and now that you have, I have five things that you need to do on your new Xbox Series X to take your experience to the next level. Like using your Bluetooth headphones you already have in order to hear the sounds of the game. Welcome back everybody, my name is Wayne. Thank you so much for being here. And if this is your first time here, I make videos just like this one to simplify your gaming experience. Now in today's video, I'm gonna show you five features that you should be using to really personalize and level up your experience on your new Xbox Series X. And so the first thing you'll want to do is make your Xbox your Xbox. And you can do this by changing a few settings. And one of the settings that you can change is your background. And there's a new feature which you can use called a dynamic background. You also could use a screenshot from a game that you have if you would prefer to do that. Uh, as well, you'll want to go in and you can change the layout of your home screen if you would like. And lastly, you can even go in and change the menu bar to rearrange the orders of what you see here. Now, once you have made your profile uh, to really bring out your style and your, your personality into your own Xbox, the next thing you'll want to do is go in and make sure that you are changing the settings to your TV and your Xbox to really optimize the new Xbox Series X graphics that you can use according to your TV that you have. For instance, in the TV behind me here, um, I have upgraded my TV so that I can now play 4K at 120 frames per second. Um, but if you don't have a 4K TV, you can still use the 120 frames per second, but you just have to make sure you go in and find those settings and make those changes. And if you need help with those settings, then make sure you check out this card right here where I go over the different settings depending on which TV you have, either 4K at 120 or uh, maybe a 1080p or if you have a 1440. 40 hertz monitor. Um, each of those settings do require a different setup. So make sure you check out that playlist again in the card above me here. Okay, so now you've personalized your background and your home screen, and then you've also made sure that you have the correct settings for your TV to maximize that output. The next thing you want to do is save some money each year by utilizing the Xbox Game Share features. And so if you're not familiar with what Xbox Game Share is, it is a feature that Xbox allows you to share your Xbox digital games and your Xbox Live with one other console. Okay, and so let's go ahead and move away from the actual physical Xbox Series X and talk about another way to level up your experience with the console, and that is by using the Xbox application that you can find on Android and iOS phones. Now, the Xbox app is not a new thing specifically to the Xbox Series X. It is for both the Xbox One and the Xbox Series X, uh, but you know, if you're not familiar with it or if you've never used it before, or even if you have, maybe there are a few things that you didn't know that it could do. As well, it has a few features that allows you to still enjoy your Xbox Series X, even if you're not in front of it. Features like being able to look at your game library while you're gone. Also, you can use the app as a keyboard so that you can type messages to your friends instead of the cumbersome way of using your controller and trying to type everything out uh, one by one little letters there. You can turn the Xbox app into a keyboard instead. And this one I do find pretty awesome. If you are for some reason having a mic issue on your controller and your headsets, you can turn your Xbox app on, start a party or even find a party that your friends are in, join that party, and then you can chat with your friends directly through your phone. You don't even have to have your microphone on your headset. Just simply turn it on your phone, set it down and start chatting and it will pick up your voice and be able to be heard in the chat. All right, and so now what if you are on a trip and you're going somewhere and you're in the back seat bored, or maybe you're at the doctor's office and you're in the waiting room and you're, it's taking a long time. Have you ever wished that during those times you could play some video games through your Xbox? Well, now you can with Xbox Remote Play. So the first thing you need to do in order to utilize Remote Play is download the Xbox app that we just talked about. And then once you have it downloaded, you're going to click on the a remote play button which is right next to the uh, notification bell. After you've done that, it'll bring up an option for you to set up your console. And if you have already have it set up, then you can just click right here on the remote play on device option. And as you can see, once you do that, it'll load up your console. And once you have everything properly set up, you'll be able to play on your phone using your Xbox console anywhere that you go as long as you have everything set up properly. 
All right, guys, and so those are the five things that you need to do on your Xbox Series X. But before you go, I do want to give you one more bonus tip. If you remember in the intro, I mentioned that you can use a pair of your Bluetooth headphones that you have sitting around. Uh, maybe your Xbox One headphones that you normally have just went kaput and you no longer can use them. So what you'll need to do again is download that Xbox app. And then once you're on the app, you're going to hit the remote play button that is next to your notification bell. And that's gonna click on the option to remote play from this device that you'll click. And then it's going to load up your screen. And then so once it's done downloading, just put your headphones on and you should be able to set your phone right back down and just start playing the games as you normally would. All right, guys, and so that does it. If you like this video, then you'll like the custom playlist that I made just for you, which features all of my Xbox Series X tips in one place. So if you'd like to see those, make sure you check out the video that comes up at the end of this video. And with that, guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one.